For us Arabs who are living in Israel, sometimes life can be pretty complicated. Dealing with identity issues, political views, and social status in an Israeli Jewish society are a matter of a daily routine. But when you add to it also sexual identity decision inside an Arab society, it takes a lot of courage to deal with with it. That's exactly what my next guest has courage. Karam Dadu, an openly gay Israeli Arab who also performs a, po a popular draw queen act. Good evening. Thank you very much for coming. Good evening, Lucy. It's not easy. Well, yeah, it's not easy all the time, but uh, when, uh, when you have like the right people surrounding you, you're, you'll be uh, okay. The right people surrounding you usually for everyone or for, let's say, um, um, a human being is his family. In an Arab society, when a person is coming and getting out and saying, I'm gay, um, this is the life that I want to live, this is something unacceptable. Well, you're right. I came out of the closet when I was 14, actually, and I, I suffered for two years, and then my dad kicked me out when I was 16. I had to deal like with the whole life all by myself in Tel Aviv. I came to Tel Aviv. Uh, yeah, it's hard. It's really hard sometimes, especially when you don't have uh, your family supporting you. What happened the day that you came out and you said to your father, I'm gay? Well, actually, it was in front of 150 people by mistake uh, uh, at home and school in the Arab sector. Uh, they never teach you about uh, the meaning of gay or homosexual or, or LGBT uh, community. So you need to deal with it and learn all by yourself. And uh, when I came to my family, I, I, I just said, I don't want to marry a girl. I, I want to. I feel attractive to boys. Wow. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was uh, like really a uh, real shock for them. And. Also for me, because as a kid, when I've heard the word gay, it was for me like a bad word that uh, if you hate someone, you call him gay. And you are facing and you're coming to Tel Aviv. Your family just says you're not part of us anymore. Well, it's, uh, it was more and uh, harder than this. Actually, uh, I've almost been killed because of being gay by my family. What, what happened exactly? Um, when I came to Tel Aviv, I f uh, felt uh, the real freedom of being myself, of doing what I, whatever I want, of uh, doing, uh, of achieving my my own dreams. And actually, um, it it was uh, wrong uh, in the eyes of my family. So, um, so I, when I came to visit with that hair and that look, uh, uh, they uh, my dad was very angry and. Uh, hit me and until I've almost uh, died. You know, um, I'm, I'm sometimes I'm thinking and sometimes hitting physically is not hurting. What, yeah. what is hurting is inside your soul. How do you deal with it? Well, losing a family, uh, uh, it's really a hard thing, but uh, as I've said, uh, I, I had like the right people. I, I, I was just uh, after what I had in uh, in the north in my family's house. Uh, I've been in a hostel for LGBTQ teenagers uh, for only two weeks, but they helped me a lot. They helped me to survive. They helped me to not commit a suicide. Uh, and actually, I just survived because of them, because of my friends, because of that hostel. Are you um, are you afraid? Now, no, totally not. I'm I'm a hundred percent proud of who I am. You saw your family since then. You're talking with them. You mm. have any connection to your family? No, but actually, I I've, I've performed in echo and drag, which were which is uh, was like a, a real win winning uh, uh, issue for me because. Uh, I really love the city, but I can't handle the, uh, the thing that uh, they will not accept me ever as who I am. You know, uh, I meet a lot of Arab uh, gays and uh, gay men, and I hear their battle. And, and always, it's for me, it's, it's like impossible to, to even start 
and 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 making them feel better because I know how hard the society can be for a woman. I know how this, the hard the society can be if you have a different political view, but if you have different sexual identity, that can tear you apart. How do you, from where, except the help of, of your friends, you you know, how from where do you find the courage to deal with that each and every day for not seeing your family, for not being connected, for, for maybe being looked at from the Arab society? And I'm not saying that they are right, but being looked at as somebody who committed a sin. Well, when I came to Tel Aviv, everything was really new for me because because I've, I've never seen a gay person like in real life when I, uh, before I came uh, to Tel Aviv. And uh, actually, I don't know how I did it, but I did it. And I've met a lot of uh, Arab gay people. Unfortunately, some of them gave up. And uh, maybe because I didn't want to be like them when everyone uh, forget about them like uh, a week or two, a year or two. And, I, and I've said to, to myself, I, I want to do something that will make people remember. Uh, remember me, uh, even if I, if I will, I don't know, been hitting by a, tr uh, a truck or so, I, I will let the whole country remember me as I am. And when you start doing the things you love, like drag, like, I don't know, volunteering, like uh, being proud of who, I, uh, of who you are, you, you start enjoying your life. It doesn't matter if you have a family or not, you will build your own family. Do you know how courageous you are? Thank you. Do you know that? Thank you. It's it's amazing. Just, uh, you know, I will finish this. I, I wish I had more time to, to talk with you, but I will fi tell you something. Courage is, is um, fear is your biggest enemy. Mm -hmm. And doing what you're doing is amazing, is something that uh, I don't think anyone can understand. And I think that what you're doing is giving so much hope to so many teenagers, to so many people. And you are already a big, huge human being. Thank you. So thank you very, very much for this interview and thank you for being who you are. Thank, thank you. you, thank, thank you. you. Of Tel Aviv.